Welcome back to Smoker Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. I want to apologize for not having any video up for the last five weeks. It's just been a series of things preventing me from shooting these videos, starting with the subtropical storm Alberto about four weeks ago. And then after that, it was just one thing after another, including severe case of bronchitis, lost my voice, haven't been able to shoot a video. Hey, this is YouTube. This is not scheduled TV. This is real time, real life, and sometimes life gets in the way. We're going to be doing a burger video that I actually did a trial run on a few weeks ago, knowing I couldn't shoot the video on it yet. And it's a blackened Creole burger or Creole blackened burger. Absolutely fantastic. I took one bite of this burger. I'm like, this is a $25 burger. So stay tuned. We're going to get into that right after this. First, I want to say happy Father's Day to everyone. I don't know if this video is going to land on Father's Day, but if not, I hope you had a great Father's Day. I know I'm having a great one and finally making a video again. I want to do a special shout out for Everyday Barbecue. Mike over there at Everyday Barbecue, if you haven't checked him out yet, you really need to. This guy is really stirring up on YouTube. He has went to over 6,000 subs in like 10 months. It took me one year to hit 1,000 subs, so he's really making a splash on YouTube. He's cooking up a lot of great recipes. He does a lot of things on the Blackstone griddle, grills his uh, pellet smoker, just a variety of different things. And more than anything, the guy is just a really great guy, great personality, and has some superior content, especially being this new in the YouTube world. Please go over there and check him out. Give him a sub, check out his content, and you'll see what I'm talking about. A few years ago, I introduced this disket. And I had the disc on top of it. I'm not using the disc today. You know what I'm talking about? Like the plow disc, like you would do a discata and all kind of recipes with. What I've got on here now is a optional attachment to where you can actually use cast iron. And that's what I'm doing these burgers with is uh, cast iron. This is a really nice burner system that can be used. And just recently, and I meant this past week, I received my customized Smoky Ribs legs for this disket. I sent this logo to Nevin over there at the disket company and I was really, really blown away by the job he did. That is so cool. There's four of them on here. And he can do this for anybody, whatever you want, whether it's a football team, a company, whatever. You can have it customized. There's various options for this disket. Isn't that cool? I just want to show you what I'm going to be cooking on. And yes, I'm using a black cast iron skillet for these burgers. That's what I used indoors a couple of weeks ago and made these burgers. So I wanted to replicate exactly what I did then. All right, so I'm going to start off with two pieces of bacon for this burger, this Creole blackened burger. And I'm going to put some blackening seasoning that I recently got in from Heaven Made Products. This is his new blackening seasoning. And I'm here to tell you this is some fantastic stuff. That's the label on it here. I mean, he really did a good job on this. I, I was totally blown away by it. I just started my burner, so we, we really don't have any heat in here yet. I'm just gonna season both sides of this bacon. All right, so I've got this at kind of a medium, medium heat. We're just gonna let this sit here and render and cook down to a nice crispy bacon. And from there, we're gonna do a burger. All right, so the meat I'm using, this is not your meat that you're going to find in your supermarket, your hamburger meat, your burger meat. This comes from Matador Prime Steak Company, and all of this is ground from his prime beef. Different cuts, steak, tri-tip, whatever. You know, that, that's what comprises this. Now, if you look for this on their website, he has about three different types of ground beef, different percentages of fat and lean. 
Now he calls this the 8515, but now I want you to watch when it hits the skillet how much fat renders out of this and how juicy this burger is going to be. I ain't saying the man don't know what he's talking about, but I'm just saying that this is one juicy burger. Maybe it is 8515, but if it is, it's one of the juiciest 8515s I've ever seen. And it is, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm going on with the same heaven made product blackening seasoning. Just going to give that a little rub. We're going to flip this over. Do the back side. I mean, look at that fat. Look at that. You can see it in there. If I had to guess, that's actually more like a 70 30, which is fantastic on a burger. I already know I've already had this. This seasoning mix of this meat is outstanding. All right, we're getting ready to come over here. We're going to put this in the black iron, cast iron skillet. We're going to get her going. I don't know if you can see it, but on the side of the burger, we're about halfway up, turning gray, which tells me this more than likely has a really nice crust on the bottom. Oh yeah, beautiful. Trying to bust up on me a little bit, but hey, it's gonna eat just fine. Now I want you to look at all the grease that this is rendering. I'll wipe this out after doing the bacon. None of that is bacon grease. That, that is just from this one burger. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I'm popping out in sweat everywhere. It is like 97 degrees here in Biloxi. Heat index is like 108, so it's freaking hot out here. If you look here, you'll see where I just added some white American deli cheese. This come out of the deli section, which is a little bit better than some of the stuff that's pre-processed. But regardless, either one is absolutely fantastic on a burger. This is not going to be competing with the flavors from the, the the Creole sauce that I'll show you here in a bit or the seasoning, the blackening seasoning from the uh, rub that we put on here. American cheese lends itself very well to burgers. We are looking good and our burger is done. I'm going to turn this burner off. Yes sir. All right, just like every other summer in the summertime, you got to fight off these dead gum flies, man. All right, what I'm going on with here is a Creole sauce. Now, what this consists of is one and a half cups of mayo. Into that, I added three tablespoons of Zatarain's Creole mustard. Into that, I, I added one tablespoon of horseradish. The refrigerated kind, the fresh horseradish. I'm going to apply this on both tops. Now, also uh, on the sauce, I added one teaspoon of the Tony Sacheries Creole seasoning, and I also added in about four to five roasted garlic pods, just individual pods. I smashed all that in there, and also I added the juice of one half of a lemon, and this stuff is killer. Let me tell you. Now, what I'm going to add first, and I actually did this different on that little trial run. I added the lettuce on top of the burger, but I'm going to do this because this burger is so juicy. This will help create a barrier for some of the juice. We're going to place the burger on here. Now onto that, we're going on with our tomato. I've got some thinly cut red onion, which I absolutely love. And this is all optional, whatever you like, don't like. Here's the bacon that I added the Creole or the blackening seasoning to, I'm sorry. And there we go. Let's put a cap on this bad boy. Look at that. All right, we are going to cut into this, see what we have. These flies, I tell you what, man, I despise this time of year. Not just because of flies, but because of the heat. It's totally uncomfortable. Mmm, and that piece is mine. There you go. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that. I'm telling you, that burger meat is so 
freaking amazing. It's absolutely delicious. Let's take a bite. Mm. Creole blackened burger. I promise you that's a $25 burger at any of your gourmet burger shops. If you notice, I changed shirts. I absolutely just drenched the other one. It is so hot out here and it, it really makes it hard to shoot videos so i hope y'all appreciate these coming to you i'm gonna keep them going all summer long it's gonna be hot but hey we're having a blast anyway right hope you enjoyed this video until next time smoke your ribs mm -hmm.